I'm Rhi from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a big declutter of my two-year-old daughter's wardrobe. Um, it is something that has been needing doing for quite some time. Every time I go into her wardrobe, it's driving me mad that I have got things that I just can't find. I have got so many things that don't fit her, that are in the way, um, and I can't find the things that do fit her. And I know I've got a lot of clothes that were from my elder daughter that she could be wearing now, and I just can't find anything. So today is all about having a massive sort out and really organizing her wardrobe so that it makes it super duper easy in the mornings. If you are new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing to my channel where you will see lots of videos about decluttering, about parenting tips, tricks, hacks and advice, basically all the stuff that I had to figure out the hard way with four children that I share with you guys so you can know it the easy way. Um, don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos, which is every Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. So, without further ado, because I've been putting this off for far too long, let's get on with it. As you can see, I wasn't joking, her wardrobe is a complete mess. It is crammed full of stuff, half of it's too small for her and it needs a really good sort out. So I always start by pulling everything out of the wardrobe so I can see exactly what I have to deal with. You'll notice I've got two rails in there. They are standard IKEA Pax wardrobes, but I did get my husband to hang the extra rail for more storage space because little ones are only small and have small clothes, so you get twice the hanging space. Zara is now a little bit older than Bella was when Zara was born, so you'll notice that some things I've got in two sizes. I've gotten a little size that Zara's now grown out of, and the bigger size that used to belong to Bella that Zara can now wear. Things that fit Zara are getting hung back in the wardrobe, and things that are too small for her are being put in a separate pile to be donated. Apart from this, this was knitted by my grandmother just before she died um, for Bella. Um, sadly, she died just before Bella was born, never got to meet her, but both of the girls get to wear that lovely cardigan, so sentimental pieces like that I do keep in a special box. I am, however, trying to be a lot more ruthless with what I keep as sentimental things and what I pass on because I know that other people can get so much joy out of these things. I mean, this coat, I adored. Both of the girls wore this coat, but it's still like new. And if I pass this on, some other mum and baby will get so much out of it. Some of the very tiny newborn clothes I have hang on to, like this Welsh costume for the girls to use as doll dress-up clothes. I like to use these separators for sectioning off different areas of hanging space, so here I'm sectioning off an area for Zara's dressing up clothes to keep them separate. I'm now sorting through a bucket of clothes that did used to belong to Bella that I've pulled out of storage that Zara has now grown into and they can now be filtered into her wardrobe for her to wear. You probably have noticed that I like to dress the girls in matching clothes, so what I tend to do is dress Zara in Bella's old clothes during the week when Bella's in uniform and they wear new matching dresses on the weekends. I have managed to be quite ruthless, I'm only hanging on to these couple of very sentimental pieces. I've got this huge pile to donate and now her wardrobe is looking much neater. It'd be so much easier for me to find things for her to wear that fit. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. and hit the bell for notifications. See you soon, bye.